a natural God-given ability, he has everything you want. I might have seen one of the best defensive line prospects in this draft. Say it! There you go. D-line coach Brenston Buckner came and visited you. What was that experience like when he, he worked you out? Well, the experience was great, you know. He had me, like, drill after drill just going at it, you know. I never gave up, though. He had me, like, just exhausted. It was a Sunday morning. I missed church. It was, like, 90 degrees, humid, 10 o'clock in the morning. Take me back to when you were drafted. What was that experience like? I know it was a pretty dramatic one for you. You actually fainted when you heard that you were drafted. So a lot of emotions going on? A lot of emotions. You know, I wasn't too sure what round I'm getting drafted in or I'm getting drafted or not because I come from a small school. And Steve kind of gave me that phone call and I was just so, I was just so happy. I got the phone call, you know, I hit my knees and I'm just like lost. I was like, I fainted for like five minutes. My uncle woke me up. He was like, this is true, man. This is your dream. I chase it and achieve it. A lot of emotions behind that, too. You only played one year in high school football because you were working and helping to support your family. Was there ever a time that you thought that this dream was just too far out of reach? It was a point in time I thought the dream was too far because I'm like, wow, I'm not playing football. That's what I love, you know? And I was just, it was just killing me inside not playing. Mini camps over OTAs, now you're kind of just with the rookies right now until training camp. What do you hope to prove coming into training camp? I want to contribute, make a major contribution to the team. I want to, you know, just turn, make, break nets, turn the eyes. It's been a long process, you know, a lot thrown at me. Just got to embrace it. Right now I'm just trying to learn from the veterans. That's all.